Welcome back to The Jump. And I just could not be happier to welcome in Patrick Ewing. Anyone who knows me knows I grew up on Georgetown basketball. And then, of course, in the NBA, 11-time All-Star, 7-time All-NBA, 3-time All-Defense, Rookie of the Year, and now, of course, head coach of the Georgetown Hoyas, the Hall of Famer, the legend, Patrick. It is so great to see you. Thanks for being here. Oh, my pleasure, Rachel. Thank you for having me on. Part of this whole experience of watching this 90s basketball resurgence has been seeing kids kind of get back into what happened all these years ago. You have a first grader. I heard an amazing story of when you were Zooming or talking to Michael Jordan. What did he ask you? Yes, I was talking to Michael on the phone and he was like, is that Michael Jordan, the guy that's on my shirt? I said, yeah, that's him. Uh, he, 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 got, he got a huge kick out of that. That is amazing. I'm not sure anyone had to deal with Michael Jordan the way you had to deal with Michael Jordan, the NCAA championship game your freshman year. Then your Knicks were eliminated by the Bulls five times. How do you think your career would have been different if circumstances hadn't put you in the same place and time as the guy considered the greatest basketball player on earth ever? <laughs> well, it could have been a lot different. Um, I played 17 years. And like you said, six years, uh, we played against the Bulls six times. We were only, we were only able to win one of those uh, times. And unfortunately, he wasn't there. So he's been talking trash from the first day that I met him. And he still continued to talk trash, telling me that I, that I have never beaten him when he counts. I mean, you guys met as high school recruits. Right. That's a long time. That's decades and decades of trash talk, Patrick. Oh, yes. And it, it still hasn't stopped. Even today, if I if I call him right now, he'll he'll still be talking trash to me. Well, being part of that time and place means you were also part of the greatest team ever assembled, the dream team. What is your favorite memory from just hanging out and being with those guys in the summer of '92? Uh, all of it was great, you know. Um, you know, we of course all of us we 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 talk, we meet um, doing the, the All Star games and, and stuff like that. But this was the first time we all got to spend significant time with each other. And, you know, everybody developed a, a, a much a better bond. Like, for instance, Larry Bird and myself, you know, we, it was the Harry and Larry show. Uh, you know, <laughs> we, we took, we took, we took our, our comedy show on the road. And it, it was just a great experience. Not only did we kick butts and take names, but just being with all those guys and learning from them. I want to talk to you about 1993. Michael announces he's retiring and going to play baseball. How did you hear about that? And what did you remember thinking when you did hear? Well, I heard about it just like everyone else on ESPN. And it's, it was, it's ironic because we both have the same agent. And when I heard and I found out, I called him up and I was like, David, you couldn't have given me a heads up. Uh, he's like, oh, I promised Michael, I promised Michael. but. You know, I found out just like everyone else, and I was shocked. That first year Jordan was gone, the Bulls and Knicks meet in the playoffs, and we get the game Scottie Pippen refused to come back into. I just wanted to know from your perspective, when the Bulls came back out on the floor for that final 1.8 seconds, what did you think when Pip wasn't there? I was like, what's going on? I see him sitting over on the bench. I saw that he was angry. But after that, I everything was blocked out. I was tunnel vision on trying to stop Tony from getting a shot, and he hit a, a remarkable shot to win the game. You know I'm going to ask you about one of your old Knicks coaches, my cohort in crime over here at ESPN, Jeff Van Gundy, and the famous fight with the Heat. Once and for all, Patrick, I need to know what ran through your mind when you looked over and you see Jeff on Alonzo Mourning's leg. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I was hurt, and Jeff went out there to try to stick up for, for Larry, he grabs Alonzo, and Alonzo being so strong, you, all you see is Jeff just sliding down his body, and all he's trying to do is just hold on to his legs for dear life. That was the funniest thing that I've ever seen in sport. Knicks fans also have plenty of memories of you and Charles Oakley together. Recently, he said some pretty critical things about you, about you not passing out of double teams, or you not having the star power Michael Jordan had. What was your response when you heard about all that? Hey, look, I have nothing but respect for Charles Oakley. He was one of my greatest teammates. We call him the hit man. He protects all our backs. So anything happened on the floor, he was always going to be there to protect you. So I have nothing but respect for him. Me passing out a double team, 
there are times when maybe I should have, but you know, there are times when I thought that it's my job to try to win the game. So that's what I did. Uh, I, when I, I gave my blood, sweat and tears to the Knicks and that's it. Well, I know your main concern now isn't what happened with the Knicks all those years ago, but what is going on at Georgetown. Right. After moving around to all these different coaching jobs over the years, why do you feel like this is such a good fit for you? Well, I, I, you know, I came full, it came full circle. I started as a player at Georgetown. I know I'm back being the coach. And I want to be able to do the same thing that Coach Thompson did for me, for all the new guys, all the, all the, new, the, the new generation. Thank you so much for being with us, Patrick. We really appreciate the visit. No, I appreciate that. And please tell everyone on the, uh, on the show I said, uh, sent my best. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.